Hello, welcome back to another vlog. It's Wednesday today and I wanted to show you my outfit. So that's what I'm gonna go and do carefully. Oh yeah, guys. So we've blocked this off because the animals keep walking up there. Also, if you look really closely in there, you can see some little lunar paw prints. <laughs> Um, but the walls are painted. Are they wet? No. The stairs are painted and ready. They're tacky, so I can't stand on the grey. Um, and the green. Hang on, let me go upstairs. So exciting. So up there, that clock. Oh god, this room is such a tip right now. That clock there. That's what's going up there. But anyway, outfit. Look, I feel cool today. I feel like I'm on trend. I never feel like that anymore. But these boots were bargain of the century. I got them from Vinted and they were like eight pounds, like three pound delivery. They're next boots, so they like wouldn't have been cheap, right? Eight pound. This skirt, Vinted, I think I paid two pound fifty. This jumper's Tesco. And this top is actually an old work top when I worked at Rituals. <laughs> but yeah, I really like my outfit today. Happy, happy. Thought I'd share that because I don't really dress cool anymore, I feel like. <laughs> I feel like I've reached that stage now where it's like, well, if it fits, I'll wear it. But I did want to start making more of an effort with my outfits. That's all I wanted to say today. Hope you're okay. Hope your week is going well. And I've got nothing else to catch you up on because just we're waiting for the carpet to go down now on Friday. So that will be exciting. My hand is really shaky for some reason. I hope it's not picking up on the camera. But, guys. We've got carpet. I thought these bars were gonna be a bit more brass, but I still love them. Goes up, in case around. Stay in focus, camera. Goes up. And then we've had the door things put in. There we go. And now the clock is going up, I think, tomorrow. But you're going to have to wait to see that because I'm going away at 8am tomorrow. I've got a three hour drive to Bournemouth. I can say because the bride will know by the time this goes up because it will have happened. Yes, yeah, so I think I'm going to try and have an early night. I'm just going to chill for a bit, so I've just got home from work, and I'm tired. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to chill for a bit, watch some TikToks probably, and then pack, and I will show you everything that I'm taking. My costume, now I ordered a lot of stuff from Vinted, and obviously naturally they haven't arrived, but one thing that I think completes the costume has, so I've been able to be a bit creative, and I did an emergency ASOS order. Uh, on Wednesday and that arrived yesterday so it's all good but there was a dress from Vinted that I really wanted we're doing bottomless brunch and there's a dress that I wanted to wear so bad but and bless her the the seller was adorable she messaged me and was like oh just wanted to let you know I'm waiting for some postage bags to arrive um and then I can post it and I was like oh no I was really hoping I'd have it for Saturday this was Wednesday um and she was like, oh, I've got one bag, so I'm happy to post yours if you want. I was like, oh, I'd be so grateful. So I think she, well, she hasn't marked it as sent on Vinted, so I don't know if she actually has sent it. But uh, it's obviously not going to be here on time because it's not here now and it's four o'clock on Friday. So I'm going to have to look through my wardrobe and try and find something to wear for bottomless brunch. But this dress was so nice. It was like a dark green. It had a beautiful like neckline. I have to try and find something else. And then hope that I have something else to wear that dress to because 
It's £12.50, so I'm going to keep it. I'm sure there'll be something. It's nearly Christmas and New Year, isn't it? So there'll be something that I can wear it to, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to have a chill, watch some TikTok. I say I'll sit on TikTok for an hour, but I guarantee you it will probably be longer than that because I just get so lost in TikTok and once you've started swiping, that's it. Game over. Delilah hasn't tried the going up the stairs yet, so we're going to have to try and bribe her up them so that she realises that she can walk up the stairs now. <laughs> so I'll try that later as well. I will catch up with you later. Okay. Delilah is still having a freak out about the new floor. I just put her on the like half landing there to try and be like, look, you're halfway there, you can get up. And we sat there for like a good 20 minutes and she was having none of it. She, I think it's because it's a different texture on her toes. You don't really know what to do, do you? No. But I thought I'd show you what I've got. So, my costume. I've got this Hufflepuff bag. So I'm literally gonna be bag lady, I can already tell. I mean, it was from Vinted, I think it was like three pounds maybe. Oh, hello. And then I've got this scarf, which is a Hufflepuff scarf from The Cursed Child. Love it. Thank you, Delilah. And then this was my emergency purchase. <laughs> what? Where's Delilah? Where are you? Delilah? Where are you? Where are you? There she is. <laughs> I'm getting crazy. Um, yeah, this was my emergency purchase from ASOS. And actually, I think I've made a better decision because this is a Scort. So, I feel like this is much more practical for a drunken night out. <laughs> And then I've got the chunky boots that I was wearing at the beginning of the week that I think I showed you in the vlog. I'm going to wear those and with a, just with a black t-shirt, I think. And then I've got these tights which have, I mean, you can't really see. I'm hoping you'll be able to see when they're on. Hold on. Let me just put you there for 30 seconds. I'm hoping... Yeah, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but can you see? If I stand this way, can you see? No. Uh, can you see if I do this? Kind of, if it'll focus. Basically, there are cobwebs. There we go, kind of, on the tights. So I thought that's a bit more Halloween-y. Um, and then, yeah, that's my Hufflepuff costume. But basically, meaning of the story, ending of the story, whatever that phrase is, I'm going to be bag lady, everyone's going to want to put their stuff in my bag. <laughs> but I'm kind of not mad about that, because one of the things I always stress out about when I go out is, um, where I'm going to put everything. I don't have any, like, going out bags. I'm not a big go-outer. I'm such a homebody, I would rather, like, go to the local pub for a couple of drinks and then come home. <laughs> Um, so this is very much out of my comfort zone this weekend. Uh, like, my Hindu was at my house. The girls did such a good job with my Hindu. Uh, so yeah, this is very much out of my comfort zone. So the fact that I can have my bag, have everything with me, I think is going to make me feel a little bit more comfortable. I don't know if that sounds stupid or whatever, but that's just me. The lighting here is not great. I look a bit grey. Um... I'm just going to do my hair like this as well. Like, this is my comfort zone for my hair. Delilah! You're crazy! <laughs> so yeah, that's my outfit. Now all I need to do is find something to wear for bottomless brunch, which right now... I have nothing. Um, I think I need to go through my stuff and see what I've got in my wardrobe. For that and I need to pack so I'm gonna get on with that I'm gonna pack because I have to leave so early I don't want to have to worry about anything in the morning I also need to take the spare room bedding which I've got to try and uh, get out of there somehow <laughs> um, yeah so that's where we're at 
right now. <sighs> Look at it! So happy. Hello. Uh, I haven't picked the camera up since Friday last week. It's now Wednesday. It's actually the 2nd of November now. Um, and I don't know whether this is a new vlog or whether we're continuing on and joining together. I've asked Instagram to let me know what you would prefer. Would you prefer one long vlog or would you prefer two short vlogs? We don't know. I look really weird today. Couldn't get my hair to go right. I French braided it last night rather than my twist. We've discovered my hair doesn't like that. And it actually just turns into a puff ball of frizz. So there's that. I look like this today. I'm a mess. I'm just having one of those days. <laughs> And I feel like this always happens kind of in the middle if I have a week off. I've got a week off work this week, FYI. Hence why it's the middle of the day on Wednesday and I'm vlogging. Um, yeah, where I just have a bit of a uh, meh day. And today's kind of that day, I feel like. Like, I don't know if this is going to sound really weird. Some of you might get it. Some of you might be like, you okay, hun? But, like... I just feel uncomfortable, my back hurts, my skin is itchy, I can feel my clothes on my skin and that really annoys me, it kind of makes me a little bit like, not angry but like, <laughs> I get really frustrated by it, I'm also really cold which doesn't help, um, trying not to put the heating on, my, I have got a wheat bag so maybe I'll heat that up and I also know that I should leave the house. Um, I told Ben that I would go to the shop and see him because he's tattooing our wedding photographer today. So I said that I would go down there. I feel like that's playing on my mind because if I don't go, I'll feel really guilty. If I do go, that means I have, I have to leave the house. <laughs> oh, you guys thought I was normal. I'm really not. Um, <laughs> so what I might do is I'm currently watching this is where you know I'm having a funk day because I'm currently watching a Garrett Watts YouTube video. Um, this one is about his haunted apartment. And I always feel like I'm having such a funk day when I will literally sit for two hours and watch Garrett Watts because he also kind of makes me feel a bit dizzy. <laughs> uh, and if you've ever watched a Garrett Watts video, you'll kind of understand what I mean. He's a bit like... I can't even explain it. Um, but I'm just going to rest you on the washing area. My battery needs to charge. So, okay, it's now flashing at me. Right, I am going to put this on charge, go have a cup of tea, heat my wheat bag up, finish this video, and then I might go to Starbucks to kind of entice me out of the house a bit more and then go and see Ben. And I'm taking Delilah as well to see Ben because the photographer wants to see her because she's cute. Okay, that's the end of it. It's much later now. Um, wow. I've just got back from going to see Ben. I was going to take the camera, but forgot because um, whenever I take Delilah anywhere, I kind of forget anything else. <laughs> but I have decided, because most people have asked for one big vlog that I'm just going to combine the next two weeks, well, last week and this week into uh, one, one vlog. Um, so we'll bulk it out a little bit and it'll be a bit of a longer vlog so that will go up, well you'll know when it's going up because you're watching it, it'll go up on Sunday. <laughs> and then I am going to continue with my weekly vlogs because I feel like I've just got back into my rhythm, I really enjoy it, it's given me something to kind of look forward to and focus on. Um, throughout the weeks and stuff so yeah I am going to continue and I wanted to say a massive thank you to everybody um who has either commented or sent me a message or like made just little comments when I've seen you say that you're watching the vlogs and and things like that means a lot to me so thanks guys and yeah so it's like half six and I'm kind of tempted to have a bath like I just feel a little bit on edge Today, like I've had, like I said earlier, like th today's just kind of a bit of a funk day. Like I don't really feel normal. <laughs> I feel a bit like I don't know, tight chested a little bit. I wouldn't say I feel anxious, just not settled. So I think I'm gonna have a bath 
and then I'm going to make a hot chocolate. Ben's working a little bit late tonight. Um, so then have a bath, have a hot chocolate, and then when he gets home, we've got pizza for dinner. Yum. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to go and do now. Have a nice warm bath, because it's really cold out there now. Like, yesterday and today, since November has hit, the weather is just dropped like i was getting really confused during october like it was like 17 to 20 degrees throughout october and i'm like where are my winter coats at because this is confusing my brain but i have to say it was actually kind of my perfect autumn because i love like a jacket rather than a big chunky coat i like to wear a big jumper or a big jacket and um, with a scarf um and just be able to be outside and enjoy everything and I just feel like it was such a pretty autumn like you could see the process of the trees changing because they didn't look brown or get thrown off by wind or rain and yeah it was just like kind of the perfect autumn really um I loved it and now we're just gonna get into the process and give it a bit of time and then get a bit festive -y. bring out the festive cheer and try and convince Ben that we should have a real Christmas tree again this year, which is my challenge every year, but we always get one. And also this will be the last Christmas with the house like this. So next year, if all goes well, next year, I might try and convince him to let me have two Christmas trees. Ben, if you're watching this, prepare yourself for that conversation. Uh, whether we have a real one in one room and a fake one in another, I don't know, but there's going to be two separate rooms, so technically we could have two. Just saying. <laughs> um, yeah, I might even, even, right, going back a bit, I might even make hot chocolate now and have my hot chocolate in the bath. morning it's thursday and i'm about to head to my mum's um we're gonna go to that was like a drum roll wasn't it to um <laughs> we're gonna go to um one of my favorite garden centers because they're gonna have all of their christmas stuff up and i wanted to start just having a little bit of festive cheer you know um it's a very miserable rainy day today but hello i'm very much looking forward to my long drive i love a good long drive putting a podcast on i'm currently listening to real life ghost stories and just I don't know i just really enjoy long drives with a podcast it's just me um so my mum lives about an hour away so i am 10 minutes late sorry mum standard um <laughs> so yeah let's let's head to my mama's i really hope she's got some nice breakfast food because i haven't eaten and i'm quite hungry <laughs> the car is a really awkward place to try and hold the camera like i don't know where to put you because <laughs> i could put you here but we're a bit wonky now um, well, that took longer than expected. There was a um, accident, and I must have just missed it because um, I was quite near the front of the queue. And by the time I had turned around to try and go a different way, the queue was huge. So, yeah, that took me half an hour longer than it needed. But for some reason, I feel like a little bit emotional about being home. Like, I don't know why. I think I'm just going through a bit of a homesick phase. Like I'm from the countryside and I don't live in the countryside and I like used to still work like in Cambridge. Um but I don't live in Cambridge anymore. Um and just for I don't know for some reason like seeing how much it's changed and some of like the houses that I used to drive past or walk past when I was younger and dream about living in a like for sale and I'm like mm. so I don't know I just feel a little bit like a little homesick I think so maybe it's a good thing that I've come home for the day but 
Yeah, I'm going to go because there is a car pulling up behind me. And you're going to park in a really think awkward place. I'm actually going to show you where this lady's parked because it's actually a joke. So that is my mum's drive. There's a car there, I'm here, and she's just parked there. Really? This used to be the bane of my life when I lived here. Um, people just park like absolute morons. Like that is not even a parking space. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go. Nice, thanks. If you're old school over here and you remember the vlogs from years ago, this is Aurora. She doesn't like me anymore. <laughs> Stop showing me your bum, I don't want to see your bum. Hi. Oh, thank you. Lovely. I have oil in my hair. I'm gonna wash it. But that was hard work. And it just looks a bit bizarre. So <laughs> I don't know if it was successful or not. Ignore how I look, but autumn dog walk. But 
I cannot explain to you how amazing that walk was. Yeah, you're tired, girl. Good girl. Um, you're so good. I'm like speechless. Thank you. I love you. Delilah isn't a dog dog. Like she, I've said it before in other vlogs, she really struggles. And the fact that we just did a full walk with all four of them, she only did like two or three barks at the beginning when she first saw Pup. And I think that was out of excitement that Pup was there. And then we just went for a little stroll, didn't we, all together? And you were so good. But we desperately need to go give her a bath now because this is the only problem. I don't know if I'm able to show you. Look, she gets like seeds and stuff all stuck in her fur. And because it's wet, I literally can't get it out. So we're going to have to go home and give you a bath and brush it all out. So should we go do that now? Yeah? Okay. I'm just making some lunch and then I'm going to start editing the two weekly vlog that is. Um... But I literally can't get over how good Delilah was on that walk. Like, honestly, hard work pays off. Oh yeah, I forgot I need to charge this. <laughs> also, I look rough today. But I, it's Saturday and I did all of the housework yesterday so I can have a proper chilled out Saturday today and I'm really excited about it. So, I'm going to edit this vlog and upload it ready to go live tomorrow. And yeah, eat some good food and just chill out. <laughs> I think Ben's out tonight, so I've got a quiet evening. So I might have a bubble bath and a hot choc and just chill out. Um, but we'll see how the day goes and whether he is out or not. But yeah, thank you for watching the vlog. If you watched it again and you've watched it all the way through, I hope you all had a good Halloween. Let me know in the comments what you got up to. What was your costume? Did you get dressed up? Um, I was a Hufflepuff standard obviously um so yeah the weekly vlogs will be continuing i love them um have found my little thing again um to spark a little bit of joy into my life as cheesy as that sounds but yeah so yeah do want to say thank you again thank you if you've subscribed i've gained a couple of subscribers in the last couple of weeks so thank you for that and i will see you Next week is where that cut off. <laughs> Perfect timing for the camera to die just before I was about to say my last word of the vlog. But, yeah. Why is it when, like, we went on a long walk and Delilah has so much energy? It just never ends.